So, t so today I want to talk about MC Ran. MC Ran has been mostly forgotten about. He came from one of the best hip hop groups of all time, NWA, legendary group. A group that really started that gangster ish, you know what I mean? Let's put it down. And MC Ram was one of the top, one of the best MCs on that in that group. And I never understood why he didn't blow up. It's a mystery to me. Never understood. Never understood it, man. You had Dre. Dre went on to blow up. Doing his thing with Snoop and Death Row and Eminem. You got Ice Cube when it blew up. And Ice Cube and Rand was basically on the same level when they was in NWA. You know, two master lyricists that could write. Writing lyrics for Easy and Dre. You know? So I never understood why. Well, when they be, when they got to the solo projects, yeah, MC Ran stuff just wasn't popping like that. Don't know why. You know, it didn't catch the, it didn't catch attention. It didn't catch a blaze. But let's go back. Let's go back. Let's take a. Let's go ahead and take a, a history trip back. Let's get on. Let, let's get on the train and go back. So we got MC Ran, and we're gonna go back to when the group broke up. Okay, we got Ice Cube left first, then Dre left. And nobody else left. He, uh, MC Rand didn't leave. He just stayed as a solo artist. MC Rand's last record was Ruthless for Life, released June 30th, 1998. You know, so he was there. Still a long time with Ruthless. Cause Dre was left ruthless like in ninety what two? Ninety two, ninety three, something like that. When the chronic came out. You know what I mean? So let's get into it, man. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what happened with MC Rand. So uh Cube left, Dre left. And you got Easy, Ran, and Yellow still over there at Ruthless. Easy was going out finding talent. He found he found Bone Thugs, and he found some more guys. You know, <coughs> excuse me. But, and, and, and that last album N.W.A. did with Dre was the great, was one of the greatest albums in the hip-hop. Probably my favorite N.W.A. album, Niggas for Life. Yeah, I think that's probably my favorite one. Didn't have Cube in it. You had master writers, had MC Rand was writing lyrics for Easy and Dre too. And you probably had uh what's his name? Um the DOC was writing, probably was writing for Dre also. But that was Dre wrapped his I always say Dre wrapped his butt off on that album. Killed it. Was right out there with Ren. Him and Ren was killing it. You know, everybody was. They had so much chemistry. Him, Ren, Easy. 
that whole album is phenomenal, bro. I'm 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 gonna always get that album. It's due is it's due praise. It still sound good to this day, man. Every song banging. I think it's better than the Chronic. You know what I mean? Every song banging on there. You know, that NWA for life. Every song is banging on that thing, bro. That thing is hot. It's still hot. You know, people don't talk about that album album enough. Dre don't reference it enough. You know, Dre Dre really frustrates me, man, with what he did. With you know how he handled his 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 rap career, man. Cause he don't praise it. He he don't get out there enough. He Dre likes to stay under a rock. You know, he finally came out uh what a couple weeks ago doing the Jimmy Kimmel show, whatever. This dude ain't ain't do ain't ain't never been on Jimmy Kimmel before in life. He finally comes out up out up under a rock and decides to do an interview. You know, whatever though, whatever. I appreciate that movie. At least he did a movie with Snoop the Watch, and that was a great movie. But uh, what was I? Okay, like I said, NWA the greatest album. One of the greatest. It's my greatest NWA. It's, it's my favorite NWA album. And they killed it. Now, every, every lyric was was phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? Dump Dre, Q, Easy. Chemistry, undeniably. Undeniable. Genius level, you know. Awesome. Didn't even need Q. Okay. And they diss Cube too on, on on that on that record too. And Cube came back with no Vaseline, you know. But still, okay. So now when Dre leave, I don't know what happened with Rand and Easy relationship after that. You know, MC Rand never came out dissing Easy. Easy never came out dissing Ren, but there probably was issues in their relationship because MC Ren did not appear on Easy E's last album, 187 Killer, and that Easy E album was trash. That was straight boo boo. You can tell. I don't know who were writing his lyrics, but that ish was straight boo boo. You can tell uh, MC Ran wasn't writing for Easy during that time because MC Ran was not featured on that album, so they maybe had some issues too. Because why not just keep the NWA thing going? You got you got Yellow still down. You got Easy there, and you got Ran there. So why not? You know, do another. Well, maybe they just didn't have have the energy to do another NWA album. I can, I can uh, understand that. But still, they could have did some good. They could have did some songs together. And I didn't hear any great songs with Easy and Rand when Dre left. Okay. Easy put out that whack album. I that was that's the worst one of the worst albums I heard in my life, man. I remember back in the day I thought it was trash back in the day. He had that one great song on there, uh, when he was dissing Dre, and that's about it. Compton, Compton, you know. And that was it. Featuring B G and his brother. Real Compton City G, yeah, real mother bucking G's. That's the only hot song on that album, bro, bro. And, 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 and you know, I guess MC Rand was not gonna be on there. I guess MC Rand didn't want no part of it. Probably, probably trying to stay neutral. Okay, so MC Rand go do his own thing, and he doesn't get a buzz. He he ain't buzzing. I don't know if. If uh, he featured 
uh, Easy on. It don't matter if he featured Easy or not, cause he wasn't buzzing at all. Nobody was checking for MC Ran. Okay, you got the Dre with Death Row doing a thing, burning up the charts. You got Ice Cube over there, been doing his thing solo, burning up the charts. You know. And you got MC Ran over there not burning up the charts. Just stale as hell. Can't buy a hit. Ain't got no momentum. He got albums coming out. You know, the villain in black and all that. You know, I go to MC Ran uh, Wikipedia pages. It ain't even nothing... They ain't even got nothing good on his Wikipedia page. I mean, they trashed this dude's career. I mean, it's sad. They His career was just, solo career, straight boo-boo. Trash. Straight trash, man. And this is it's crazy. Because he's one of the greats. One of the greats. And you can't hardly get this man to do it. He don't do interviews. Rarely do interviews. You know? So it seemed like he just faded away into oblivion once his his music wasn't taken off. Seems to he seems he just said F it. F the music business. Okay, so his solos album, The Shock of the Hour, came out in 93. The Villain in Black came out in 96. Ruthless for Life, 98. Reincarnated, 2009. You know. None of these albums was a buzz. I didn't. Nobody was paying attention. That 93 shock of the album. Okay. Nobody. Well, well, 93 shock of the album was the only one that went gold. Everything else didn't even go gold. Well, that's what it got on here. Maybe this is wrong. I thought... I believe the villain in black probably wouldn't go, but from what I'm looking at, it says Shock of the Hour, R I A A Go. You know. Shock of the Hour, 553,000 sales, U.S. Villain in black, 321,000 sales. Ruthless for Life, 170,000 sales. Reincarnated, 3,000 sales. You know what I mean? And I, I'm thinking that sales continue to this day. They count themselves recently also. From present to all the way back from the 90s. The man couldn't get a buzz. Easy E wasn't promoting him. Easy E had his uh, sights on Bone Thugs, had his attention on Bone Thugs, and Easy E put his money behind Bone Thugs. Forgot about Rand. Rand didn't come around Bone Thugs. Bone Thugs don't even know this dude. He supposed to be the uncle. He didn't come around. I I never heard of Bone Thugs featuring MC Ran. You know what I mean? He didn't come around and introduce himself. Lazy say M MC Ran. He's never saw MC Ran. Weird, just weird all the way around. Was he mad? He probably was mad. MC Ran probably was mad. Yeah, he probably was mad. Then come around. But he was still doing albums, as you can see. 93, 96, 98. 
So he was still doing albums. He was still active. He just didn't come around the other ruthless crew. I'm 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 surprised he didn't come around Bone Thugs though. Okay. So how can we? So M so MC Rand needed some help. You know what I'm saying? He needed some love. Let me see. He didn't get no love. I'm trying to see who who he fit. He had whack features featuring Big Rock. You know, I'm looking at his features on his albums. This is the uh, the Villain in Black album. He ain't got no good features on here. He ain't got no Cube on here. No Dre, no Snoop. He got a Butter Law. This was out in, what, 96? Easy E Long Gone. By this time, that's that's one issue. He ain't got no good features. Let's see about his '93 album. We had featured in '93. No good features. No Cube. No Dre. No Easy. He ain't even got Easy E on his album, man. You know what I'm saying? That was in '93. He ain't even featured Easy on here. '93, '96, no Easy. Well, Easy was dead in '96, so. But uh, he ain't put out no song he did with Easy. '98. Okay, '98. He fe- he finally featured Ice Cube. He finally has some good features. He featured Ice Cube and coming after you. Features 8 Ball and MJG and Who in the Fuck. Good feature. He features Snoop Dogg and RBX and So What You Want. Good feature. Features Big Rock and The Chill. Don't know who that is, but he still ain't featuring Bone Thugs. You know, so he started to get it in. At least he had some good features. And uh, on his Ruthless for Life album in '98, at least he started to realize he needed some top, some top guys, man. His last album, Reincarnated, no features at all. Thing only sold three thousand copies. Hot trash. This is. Devastating for superb MC like MC Rand, man. This is hard. This is hard to swallow because uh, when he when he was with NWA, he shined. He shined. He shined like the brightest, like the brightest star, like one of the brightest stars. He he shined. He was up there with the stars, you know. And I'm talking about Easy Star. Cube, Star, Dre, Star. Everybody was stars in the NWA. Alright, so it, 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 his solos just ain't, ain't going to cut it. You know? Okay, so... Like I said, Easy wasn't when, when, when messing with him. Easy was letting him do his own thing, and it and that and that failed, right? So Easy passed away. He don't he don't he don't get with Bone. He don't you don't see him with Bone. Easy gone. So you think the guys Cube, Ran and Dre would would, would you know would reconcile? Well, Dre and Cube reconciled, but we didn't see Rand. Rand didn't come around. Why? Why not? Why wasn't Rand uh, featured on the Chronic? Oh, okay. He's still with Ruthless at that time, so I understand. Okay. All right, but when Easy die, like I said, you think they come together. 
Dre still over there at death row. Cube over there. You think him and Cube would do something? Especially now, later, Dre leaves death row and gets with his own company, Aftermath. So you think, okay, that's a that's a good that's a good opportunity for Rand to go over there. You know what I'm saying? See what he can come. You know, go over there and see if they can spark up that chemistry again. You know, Rand nowhere to be no nowhere to be heard of. Dre over there at aftermath. Dre ain't doing too good at aftermath until he found uh, Eminem. Dre wasn't doing that good over there. Eminem saved Aftermath. Dre looked up. If Dre didn't have Eminem, I don't know what Dre would have did. He didn't want to mess with Snoop. I don't know why. Snoop had to go sign with Master P. Dre didn't want no part of Snoop. You know. Snoop had to go sign with Master P. So you got Dre over there at the math not do, they ain't the, the record the company ain't doing nothing they failed you know Dre failed with that firm with the firm thing that didn't work out with Foxy Brown A Z and Nas didn't work out so you got Cube. Doing, still doing his thing. You know, he ain't going to get ran. Ran ain't messing with him. They not messing with it. Ran, you know. So Rand is pretty much forgotten about now. And why couldn't they bring another? Why couldn't they do another NWA album now? You got Cube. You got Ran, you got Dre, they all free. They could have did an NWA album. Another one. You know, when Dre was forming out, when Dre formed, when Dre had aftermath, they could have did another NWA album. Why didn't they get together? You got Yellow, you know what I'm saying? You got all the guys, but Easy. They could have did another NWA album. Around that time when Dre left, around what ninety seven, ninety eight, they could have put together another NWA album, man. But they didn't. And, and, and so life continues, and, and then you got Dre finding Eminem, and that blows up. They do the chronic 2001. Ran out, ran absent on air. He could have, he could have did, he could have appeared on air. Didn't appear on the chronic 2001, which is a shame. Never appeared on Eminem's albums. A shame, you know. So, seems like Ran just said, "F it, I quit." F everybody. I ain't got no relationship with these dudes. F everybody. <sighs> Cube had his West Side connection, so Cube wasn't tripping. And Cube put out uh, Mac 10. Seems that that that's his most standout per, uh, artist he ever put out was Mac Ten. Q was doing movies, ran nowhere in none of his cute movies. You know, so ran like I said somewhere hiding. 
somewhere mad, probably mad, frustrated, and he never blew up. You know? So life, years pass by, life goes on, and they finally hook up, they finally hook back up, what year was that? Q, Ren, Dre, are back, they finally hook back up. And they do a song. And it's hot. Twenty twenty. I'm trying to figure out why. What made them hook back up? But they did. And this is on, uh, this is Dr. Dre featuring them. That's one song called We Back, Ice Cube, MC Ran, but they had another song too. Oh yeah, Hello. Now that was a good song. I think that probably, was, was that on the soundtrack? They was talking about, oh this might be, oh this was from Ice Cube album. Hold on, man. Hello. Was that from Ice Cube album, Hello? We finna find out. Come on. Okay. Hello was from Ice Cube album of War and Peace. All right. And, and it was rumored that the NWA was going to get back together around this time War and Peace came out in 98 okay released 98 well it was rumored that that NWA was going to get back together and they sounded good hello Sounds very good. The chemistry still there. Dope as hell. But they never made another NWA album. They made they never made a record. They should have made a NWA record. It would have been crazy. You know what I'm saying? It would have been sick. But they didn't do it. Don't know why. I want to blame Dre, I really do. I want to. I want to think that is it was Dre's fault, but I don't know. I don't know who fault it was, but that another that that should. It's they should have had made another NWA album, bro. Like they tripping, bro. They should have been made another NWA album. They f the fans, man. They really f the fans. They really after fans with that bull BS. Are not coming together and making an album. They should have did that. Cause they that was dope. The hello was dope. You know, so all all the all the other guys blew up except MC Rand and I, I just what happened to MC? What happened with this is prop this is what happened with MC Rand. He just didn't blow up. 
and he stayed out of, stayed out of the limelight, stayed out of the media. Hmm. You know, I wish he would have got with. I wish he would have signed with Dre, or signed with Ice Cube, man. You know, and they would have did more songs together. Because Ran, Ran, he won. He's one of the top MCs. Like I said, Ran was dope. His solo stuff wasn't that dope. He didn't have the best producers. His solo stuff seemed to be like uninspiring for some reason. But when he with that NWA, he shines when he with NWA, man. But yeah, he don't do interviews. You know, he got like I only seen probably like one recent interview he did, and that's probably like five years old. But uh, yeah, he stays, he stays out the way. And what more can I say about it? You know, as we getting older now, everybody getting a lot older. It's too late for an NWA album. Too late. Too late. That, that ship is sailed. So, uh, but I, I would have loved to see that chemistry on the album, man. But uh, that's pretty much it. I, I, you know, it's a tragedy, man. His career. Solo career became a tragedy, you know. It just sucks. Uh, you know. I wanted him to blow up. I wanted him to blow up too, like all the rest of the guys did. But it wasn't in the plan, man. That's it for me. Big, big facts. Peace.